Alright, so it's day two, or part two of this video. So let's see what we got going on so far. So we actually got the tranny out, everything like that. So now today is taking out the clutch, the clutch plate, the flywheel, all that stuff. We're taking that out. Well, then we're gonna try to put the transmission in today. Hopefully we can get this car running. It's currently nine, I think, over here in California. So we're gonna get started on this one. I'm gonna show you the new clutch I have. I'll bring that out right now. It's a stage one. I got a new flywheel, just stock flywheel, and nothing crazy. I mean, the motor has 200,000 miles on it. So um, let's get started on this stuff. So, just the stage one. It's all nice and neat. Pull that out of the packaging right now. And then, oh, let's put that back in there. And then we actually got the faceplate. It's all blue. Then we got the pilot bearing, uh, throw out bearing, and then the lineman tool. That's pretty much in here. I think I got this for like 50 bucks. And then this I actually got on sales originally, like 75. I got it for 23 though. It's just a nice flywheel, brand new. Nothing crazy. Alright, boy, so put that back in here. So let's get started. Let's go. They're at 10, 12 point. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, and I think six up here. So uh, let's get these off the clutch and the faceplate. And you can see there's a little bit of glazing everywhere. I mean, this clutch had like a literally almost, I want to say 230,000 miles on it. But when we actually look at the clutch itself, you can see where somebody was grinding gears, a lot of glazing in there. I thought it was gonna be way worse. I thought it was gonna be cracked or something like that. But it's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. I feel like my um, my FRS was worse, so uh, let's keep going. So these ones right here in the middle are 17s. Most definitely have to use an impact for these ones, so uh, let's keep going. I got the impact right there. And yeah, the flywheel came off with ease. You can see I'm having a massive oil leak somewhere. It's either my pan or it's still that valve, uh, the VTEC cylinder, because you could also see it leaking from up there. So we're gonna have to see where that's coming from. We're gonna degrease the whole thing, and then uh, we're gonna keep going. So let's go watch the flywheel. And the clutch in the face plate. We have the new one over here. With the new pilot bearing that we're gonna press in. I think we just use a socket and we tap it in. Once we're done with that, we're gonna start throwing it back on the car and start getting this going. So let's go. Pilot bearing, guys, you can just get a 24 millimeter socket. Just put it on top. You just get a hammer and just smack it on in. So uh, let's go. It a couple hits you'll see that it's pretty much seated now um, a little ridge in there I'm gonna try to give it a little bit more love taps and then uh, this one I just weighed it weighs in at like 17.1 pounds so we're just gonna say 17 this one weighs in at 23 so we're dropping like six pounds off which is gonna make a pretty good difference nothing too dramatic I know lightweight flywheels are like 12 13 pounds maybe even 11 too so I mean it's pretty good not too bad so let's get this bad boy put on and let's go and everything else on we're gonna clean that off but now we just got to get this tight and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the impact gun First, not completely tighten them down, but then get the torque wrench and then completely torque them. So let's go. With the acetone, um, we torqued them down to 87, 90 foot pounds is what it's supposed to be at. So now we're gonna put the clutch and the faceplate on. And uh, let's go. Uh, faceplate, clutch faceplate on. Make sure that you use the clutch alignment tool. Everything's perfect, ready to go. These are only supposed to be torqued down to 18. I just used a um, air gun real quick just to zap them in. So now all we gotta do is put the throwout bearing on the transmission. Put the transmission in and start getting everything put back on. So let's go. We sanded off the shaft right here. We put the pilot bearing, we sanded these down right here, put some acetone on there. Got the acetone right over there. So now that everything's all cleaned off, I know I gotta clean the inside of it. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do that right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me. My dad's standing over there, a bumper. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna get it put back in and we're gonna start this process. Let's go! Video getting the transmission on. It was being a pain in the ass, but we finally got it in. All the bolts are tightened up and everything like that. It's super dirty. We're going to have to degrease this whole thing off. But all the motor, the motor mounts are in everywhere. Everything's tightened up. So now we just got to start putting piece and everything back together. Starter's on. About to put the master cylinder on. And then from there, we're just going to keep on going. So let's go. Where's everything's all hooked up? 
this is just another hose that I don't even need because I have this one connected right here. Everything else is all good. Now it's gonna start hooking up these axles back up, get them into place on this side too, get these ones into place, and then uh, just do the lower um, shifter cables and we're good to go. The rest of it. Um, but as of right now, we got everything bolted up, tranny sleeve, everything, exhaust, everything's bolted up, except for this VTEC solenoid. So what we're doing right now is it was leaking, but I don't want to buy a gasket right now. And the only thing I had was blue RTV, so we're going to try that. As far as everything else, everything else is all pretty much good to go. Everything's tightened up over here. Over here too. So next thing it is just to fill up the actual transmission oil. And uh, we're good to go. We got everything to grease. We got the tires on. Um, we're just letting it dry now because I kind of soaked the engine with water. So while well, we're waiting for that, I'm just going to uh, finish up picking up. I know I didn't really show you on a house here on this video. I was just really just putting a new stage one clutch in my in the daily with a lighter flywheel. So now let's just uh, see if this oil lowers on her. Well, they were like the coil over sleeves and we put new shocks on her. So now she's lowered. We need to um, rise up the back or lift it up a little bit more. But we ran into a problem. So the other day I was driving and the actual bolt to the valve cover broke off so we're gonna be drilling that out and extracting it but also I got a short shifter I got some solid um, bushings shifter bushings and I got a new slave cylinder for the actual transmission after we put the stage one clutch in the line flywheel it's been a nuisance since it's so hard to um, actually get it to shift properly so we're gonna get started on that you gotta jack it up from the front end on that tow hook because I can't even get underneath it so let's get this jacked up and put on jack stands and then let's keep going. The quad jack stands, I only needed the front up, but I jacked up the rear a little bit. Um, but I have one on this side and then I have one on this side, but the tire's not completely off the ground at all. It's still on the floor. I just wanted to get a little bit more leverage as long as we have those two jack stands right in the front. Those two in the rear I'm not too worried about. But make sure you use jack stands. So I think we're actually gonna start with the slave cylinder first and then go on with everything else. But I'm not too sure yet. I think we might just start tearing the center console apart so we could actually get the uh, bushings done. So let's pull this one off right here, the other side of the shifter bushing. Um, that one just completely wore out. That one has so much ply in it. But now we're gonna go back down there where the actual shifter is. And we're gonna take out that bushing and we're gonna drop that whole thing out. So uh, let's keep going. The center console, it's like a little bit dirty in here. I mean, the car had only one owner and 220 miles. Anyways, so we gotta take out these bolts right here. There's one, two. I know that there's one right here and there's a couple back there. So I think there's like four or five on each side. So we gotta take out 10 of them. So let me get all these taken out and then I'll show you what's next. Off all the bolts. So everything should just lift on out. Just gonna lift that out. We could actually vacuum this like i said i bought this car with 200,000 miles on it so it's gonna need some love but as far as this right here i'm not too sure how we're gonna get this off probably with some channel locks or something because this shit's on there pretty good or hopefully we could just twist it off so let's keep going center console tore apart we actually took the shift knob off finally i had to use the channel locks or whatever you want to call them to get them off so now that we have everything off now we can take these two bolts out right here and just drop the whole thing while well, we got to disconnect the other shifter linkage and then once we do that then everything should just drop right out and then we can start pulling everything apart and getting everything put back together my short shifter is actually right here i got this for like 12 bucks on ebay or something like that so we're gonna try this one out see what it's like and then my solid bushings are in the rest i don't know if you can hear me too well but we got to take off this one right here which is the shifter linkage itself that's still connected to the tranny down there on that side and then we got to take out these two bolts that after have the shifter bush here let me see if it'll actually adjust right there those two bolts gotta pop those suckers out and everything else should just fall out in place so let's keep going yeah booty got the shifter linkage completely out <laughs> what i didn't know is i actually ordered these for a b series instead of a d series but at least that uh back shifter bushing will actually still work on this so that's good. As far as the front, we're not gonna have that, but that's okay. Um, had a little bit of ply in it, but a little bit of play, but not too worried about that one just yet. But I will order one for that. Probably just order a polyurethane, just get it out of the way. Anyway, so let's keep going. So you can see how my finger was in the camera. This one's actually a little bit shorter. You can see that there's a big difference. This one's actually angled too as well, except for this one. So 
now that we got everything taken apart now we're gonna throw everything back together and get into the car so let's put it back together got the two bolts put on got you know i'm so salty about that but oh well so now we can put that back into the car so uh, let's go slave cylinder on as far as the short shifter and the shifter oh hold on so the short shifter is in and the solid bearing or uh shifter bushing is on too we might need to tighten up this the actual um, shifter lever maybe maybe not not too sure no more ply so now we are actually going to um, bleed the slave cylinder and see what else is going on so let's go